Hi, it's uh, the 21st of um, August and there's just a light shower of rain in the orchard. Uh, it's a short video about one of my favourite apples, uh, which is Kids Orange Red. Uh, this apple, like so many others, has been raised from a pip, which came from the highly regarded variety Cox's Orange Pippin. Now, the Cox's Orange Pippin uh, is generally regarded as uh, having the most perfect flavour of any apple and uh, most English people if you ask them what's your favourite apple they would say a uh, Cox's Orange Pippin but not so many would say that now as a few years ago uh, the industry doesn't like growing Cox it's a difficult apple to grow and uh, th for that reason the uh, Kids Orange Red is one of many apples which people have attempted to raise uh, well, which people have raised over the last 150 years or so in an attempt to produce an apple which is uh, as well flavoured as, as the Cox's Orange Pippin but which is easier to grow and this is a lot easier to grow um, this isn't carrying as heavy a problem as it might have, been, have done people who've watched um, a lot of my other videos uh, will have noticed probably that uh, uh, I did show you some uh, bad uh, apple scab on this. I've cut all the affected ones off, and uh, they're still. You, know, you can see now and now and then, now and here and there. You can see this carrying a heavy crop, and but it's not carrying as heavy crop as it might do. It's a heavy cropper. Now, you'll notice this thick russeted appearance. This is one of the reasons why Kids Orange Red never became as popular as people thought it would. You see this sort of ge geographical. Uh, almost looking like an upside down um, South America sort of shape uh, that sort of russeting there a lot of people find this unattractive I don't, I, I think it's you know, very attractive but uh, people buy things on a, a very cosmetic basis these days and um, uniformity is a big deal for the, uh, uh, the, um, the supermarkets, the chain stores and uh, this is not a very uniform apple, it's got this um, quite marked uh, russeting which is a big feature of the kids orange red however it's a very reliable apple it's a very heavy cropper it's ripe from sort of late September through till about um, Christmas or maybe it'll keep in, into January if you can store it reasonably cold the flavor is well it's similar to Cox when it's really ripe you definitely do get a flavor of violets to it uh, in, it, I can't describe, well I can describe, I can say it's a flavour of violets but it's, it's really quite a lovely flavour heavy cropper, it'll start cropping from quite an early age and um, a very rich aromatic flavour I, I, to my mind very attractive and um, certainly you know, if I were to start again from zero and I could only plant five apples this will be one of my top five because of the combination of very good flavour the fact that its period of ripeness covers most of the season apart from very early and very late it's a really it's a good mid-season apple which will be ripe sort of from about late September through well into December uh, if it's stored reasonably cold the flavour is very good the texture it's not extremely crunchy for people who insist that crunchiness is the most important thing about an apple you know maybe this won't be your favourite because uh, I think that when the flavour of this is at its best the texture becomes slightly melting um, some people would just call it soft it's not really an apple that goes soft but it does develop a slightly melting firm rather than hard texture uh, so you know if, if Granny Smith is your favourite apple if you like an apple that really crunches when you bite into it then this might not be for you but it's got a lot more flavour than an apple like Granny Smith and is um, so a very good cropper and to my mind it's one of the most attractive uh, apples in common cultivation so that's Kids Orange Red which was raised in New Zealand uh, about um, I think it was about 1930 or thereabouts I'll put the exact detail uh, up in the text box when I'm at home with my books but this is an apple I wholeheartedly recommend Kids Orange Red